Hello viewing audience, Scotty Sky here again. Uh, I'm back from the July 19th Antiope occultation event that y'all got interrupted uh, by the broadcast and I have no idea why. It is out of my control as to why communications uh, gets interrupted on the, the uh, transmission of the signal but I want to make it up to you. I am going to show you the occultation, what you missed, uh, that occurred two minutes after uh, the interruption. Uh, first, I'll show you what it takes to pack and travel with uh, the stations. These are my uh, bags that I've just returned from uh, Sacramento, California. Uh, of course, the laptop, which weighs entirely too much is what the broadcast is comes from in the car as I demonstrated. Uh, I have a, a carry a backpack. In this case I had all of my data. I ended up with successful six stations being deployed. So I carried my data in my backpack which was a good thing because that bag ended up getting lost for more than a day. It decided to go to New Orleans and party for a while. Um, so backpack then in the larger suitcase are all of the 18, well actually 19 tripods. One tripod is for the, the camera in the vehicle that uh, you all got to see my driving through. Uh, and this is that camera right here. It's just a simple PC 153C. Dash 4G from Super Circuits. It's a color camera, and I have a nice wide, uh, I don't know, four millimeter lens on it. So it gives a fisheye view, and that's what I broadcast my uh, my occultation expeditions with. And then I have a very large bag full of 20 battery packs of uh, nickel metal hydride, Duracell nickel metal hydride like 30 uh, 2700 uh, milliamp hours so they they have a huge capacity and they can run a camera unattended for about 12 15 hours straight even in the cold so um, this bag you'll see a, a later video uh, it's got a flat tire and I had to drag it literally so you see that not only is the tire flat but you see where it's ruffled up right here. I almost set the bag on fire. That's molten plastic right there where I almost set the bag on fire. That's a whole other story. And then here is the spaghetti box. There's an 18 camera, um, 18 camera uh, video cables, charger cables, chargers for the monitor, chargers for the recorders. Uh, inside is a metal aluminum tool type box <clears throat> and in this I carry 14 of the Canon ZR recorders and this, these little one pound recorders is what we use to uh, record with near lossless ability these uh, remote controls right here are what we use to program uh, to programmable remote control and with these I don't have to be present to start the recording that is a uh, programmable start stop uh, uh, remote control so that activates the, the cameras in my absence this is the bag that went for a nice long trip this bag of course contains the majority of my equipment so for a period of uh, almost 48 hours I thought I was out of the occultation business because in this bag was all of my mighty many observing telescopes that's what these are these are the, these are the actual telescopes right there they attach to the PC 164 CEX2 uh, end of them night owl which gives a uh, uh, times uh, 0.5 focal reduction to create a miniature telescope like this. This is a mighty mini right here with the camera and everything right there. And that's what it consists of and this is the tripod mount that clips to the tripods that were in that, that bag.
in this bag also was 16 of the programmable remote controls. Um, there's some more down in there. These are extra batteries, miscellaneous cables. This bag right here contains 18 of these cameras, so this is the most expensive bag in this box that I thought I lost. More hardware, batteries, things like that. Oh, and then here are the two monitors that I thought I also would have lost. And this is a DVD player. Phillips DVD player that uh, doubles as an 8.5 inch monitor through the inputs there. One last question on everybody's mind. How much does all this weigh? Well, let's see. This bag was 53 pounds. Uh, this bag weighed in, they marked it as heavy, but it weighed in at 49.2 pounds, so it did not, it was not an overweight bag, just close to it. This bag was 80 pounds, so 80 plus essentially 50 plus 53 gives you an idea of about 185 pounds, not counting the 20 pound backpack and the 20 pound camera bag. So, uh, well over 200 pounds worth of gear that I have to lug through the airport and two remote sites in order to set up 18 to 20 stations. Now I'm going to show you what you missed 